Keep moving! Tahara? <laughs> Where are your parents? Why are you so far from our neighborhood? We can't stay here. Come with me. I know some place safe. Do you remember me, Tahara? I'm Ahmed. I live... I lived next door to you and your family. I used to play football with your brother, Adnan. <laughs> Listen, Tahara. I know it's scary, but it will be worse for us if we stay here. I promise to take care of you. Do you trust me? <laughs> Great. Okay. On the count of three, stay close. One, two, three. <laughs> Tahara, what are you doing? Come on, we've got to go. Now, can we go? Darn, and that was my route. Right there! It's okay, come inside. Come on in now. Don't be shy. Close the door behind you. Hello, dear. Are you hungry? We'll fix that. How was your journey, Ahmed? Well done! <laughs> Amu Bassam, this is Tahar. Her family lives next door to me. Her brother is my friend. You are welcome here, Tahara. <laughs> Tahara? This is Amu Bassam. He's a friend. Do you know where your parents are, my dear? That's okay. Ahmed will help you get settled in. 
All right, Aya. Time for your nap. But do you know where I put my glasses? What would I do without you, my dear? Since the fighting started, Abu Basam lets us kids stay at his house, or what's left of it. Most of us don't know where our parents are, and some of our parents have died. Abu Basam takes care of us now. This is Amina and her brother Muhammad. <laughs> Muhammad, say hi to the new girl. Ooh, what's your name? Her name is Tahara. She's my neighbor, was my neighbor. You can have my blanket. <laughs> Do you want to play with the other kids? Okay, well, you can't just sit there and stare at me. fault, Tahara. You did what your family would have wanted you to do. Survive. Where is your family? They are not with me anymore. I'm sure your family is okay. They are probably looking for you right now. Really? Really. We'll look for them tomorrow. You promise? I promise. Want to see something I've never showed to anyone? Is, is this your family? That's my dad and my mom. And this is my dad's best friend, Doc Mohammed. <laughs> I always liked his mustache. He's the one who sent all these postcards and letters. Doc Mohammed moved to Canada a long time ago, when I was still a baby. But he and my dad always kept in touch. Will you read one to me? Sure. My dear friend Omar, I hope this message finds you well. I have arrived in the Thunder Bay, Ontario. Although Canada stretches much farther, this is the farthest north I have ever been. I am sitting by the shore of Lake Superior. 
the biggest of all the Great Lakes. It's so big you might mistake it for an ocean. I feel a sense of calm here, next to this big body of water, surrounded by land and trees as far as the eye can see. Little Ahmed would love it here. I know he has a fondness for animals. There are many fish in the lake and little squirrels running around on the dock. Yesterday, I even saw a fox. The best part is the magic that happens here at the night. I look up and see the moon and the stars, and I'm comforted because this is the same sky that I have looked upon all my life in Syria. There's one thing that we don't have at home, the northern lights. You would not believe your eyes. Green, violet, and magenta hues swirl across the sky. And I cannot help but think it is some kind of magic. Someday, my friend, you must visit me here. Send my love to Farah and your beautiful boy, Ahmed. By now, he must be running around the square just like we used to. All my love. Doc Mohammed. <laughs> I've always wanted to go to Canada. I'm going to dream about the Northern Lights. Subscribe today, only on Muslim Kids TV.